welcome to Taking the Credit, episode 43. And I believe that was the channel for MTV2 when I lived in Portage, Michigan in the early 2000s. Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory. Wow. Great show. Uh, what was before that? Robin Big. Man, way even even better show. Did you ever watch that? Um, I it just bored me. I didn't really watch it too much. Wasn't like really. A huge you didn't fan. like that one? Oh man, that was like right up my alley. And uh, that silly sense of humor is wonderful. I don't watch ridiculousness. That's a different style of humor. Ooh. I feel like when people get hurt or whatever. But uh, Robin Big and Fantasy Factory was just like. A guy with a lot of money who can do silly stuff, especially with the MTV production crew. And yeah, good fun times. Anyway. I feel like that's such a cheap way to like, what an idea. Like, oh, we're just going to watch these videos and laugh about it together. You know what I mean? Yeah. That uh, show I watched once or twice and I was like, what's the point? I can just look up funny videos on my own. I agree. <laughs> and I mean... Uh, technologies at a point where they have algorithms to feed you stuff that like would fit with what you want to watch but I don't know I mean it's um, it's it's been proven effective I guess America's Funniest Home Videos or Tosh.0 and stuff they have these yeah, sorts of things so it's at like least Tosh.0 they like actually I've watched that one more but they actually like yeah he is a comic yeah so it, yeah yeah, I guess they don't like, yeah, I'm going to mess with stuff. Why not? Uh, they don't uh, go into it as much with ridiculousness. I guess they give their opinions, but I haven't watched it that much anyway. Because, again, I'm not really interested in people getting hurt or whatever. <laughs> so. Right. It's not, not that interesting to watch. And, again, you just get on the Internet and google people hurting themselves or something yeah not an interest for me but anyway uh it was a good show thanks b if you don't mind messing with that thank you you know i'm very particular with things and uh why not have that back there yeah, why not? Oh. yes that's a story to record staff badge and uh, right here is a story to record logo. And I don't feel bad about that. I want people to know about it because why not? That's what I'm doing. There you go. Thanks, B. Kind of floating. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I'll, f <laughs> I'll change that later, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know. I got off on channel 43 for some reason, but it's just what <laughs> came to mind. I feel like MTV was channel 32 for us. That's what I remember. It was, and 52 is Cartoon Network. Mm, like, I mean, I, it was MTV 2, I think. I mean, I hope I'm right. I may be wrong, but whatever, you know. <laughs> I think that's it. 32 was probably ESPN or something. Yeah. Anyway, who cares? So? 43. 43. It's a been very a pretty busy week. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say I don't like odd numbers. And yes, it's been pretty busy. It went by really fast, though. I feel like work was pretty pretty busy the first couple of days. And then it started dragging a little bit. And things were so slow. Which always makes the week go by kind of slow. But you did something exciting with... My hand. Yes. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Sure. <laughs> it took two days. Which is fine. Um, but yeah, we just I took a picture on Pinterest to my hair lady. And um, we were able to get it pretty close to what it looked like. Um, I've definitely noticed, and we talked about this too, that the blonde isn't as blonde as the pictures. But we had to tone it because the first day it was so red. It was so red. And I don't like red hair. Sorry, red hair people. It's fine on Courtney. Courtney looks good with red hair. But... Yeah, just not a huge fan. And so, yeah, it took 
in total, like over six hours to do, probably closer to eight. Wow. Um, but yeah, I, I went one day and luckily I was able to go back the following day since there was time. And yeah, now my hair is very nice. And we got rid of most of like the box dye, covered it up, or I don't know the process really. I had to ask like 10 times, like, okay, so what are you doing? What is this? Um, but yeah, no, it looks, it's really good. I like it. My mom was like, wow, that's so great. It looks so nice. And now, um, I also cut it. We took off four inches, three inches. I don't remember. It was just all the dead ends. And so now it's a little bit shorter, but, um, we, she text texturized it too. So instead of just adding layers, it was like, kind of like, and so now it just curls really well. Apparently. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. It looks great. And I'm uh, pleased. Yeah, I'm happy that you did it. It's a good change. And um, the shampoo that I bought recently, which was very expensive, um, suggested by like a coworker friend, was um, I, I used that once before I got my hair fixed and my hair didn't like it. But now it does, It like it's working pretty well. And some of the products that I bought, like the collagen oil stuff, I've been putting that on my hair every day Mm -hmm. and it's like already feeling like so much better. Not so dry. Like after putting color in your hair, it always needs some sort of like, you know, it, it, it's damaging in a way, you know, like Mm -hmm. it's like, ah, what are you doing to me? So it's been helping a lot and it feels good still. Yeah. I'm sure the box die probably more. (laughs) Yeah. Even more so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, glad you did it. And, uh, it was, I guess, an, uh, a way I found a way, I guess, that I could show appreciation for you without us, like, going out to a fancy dinner since yeah. nothing's really open or fancy right fancy. now <laughs> with the masks on and everything. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. That was a nice Christmas present. And you did do you? A, so much for me. And I was like, this is one. And I was going to pay for your nails. And then I forgot about it. And then you told your mom that I was paying for your nails. And she thanked me. And I was like, I forgot. Yeah, but you paid for it. I didn't. I paid for your hair, though. Yeah. And it was good. I called the salon <laughs> without her knowing. And I said, she's going to want to pay for it no matter what. But you have to hold firm and use my payment information that's what Chantal said she's like he told me that you were gonna say this mm-hmm. over and over again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I did mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I really did want to pay for it but then I was like all right fine but yeah I tipped cash so bam at least you didn't have to pay for the whole thing yeah but anyway it looks great Thank and you. I love you and you deserve you deserve it it's been a long time since you've like gotten it colored about a year a, okay well. but I mean over a year I think Getting close to it. Well, I dyed it like just a couple of weeks before the wedding, so probably about a year. Uh, yeah. But then I did do the box dye after that. But normally that just become be, blah, blah, happens because I'm bored. Mm. You know, it's like it's fading and it's easy to just slap on the color. Remember, it was all yeah. over. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, sometimes when I'm feeling rebellious, I just want to color my hair too, oh. you know. And yeah, Chantal told me, um, I told her that I bought the sun in. And then I was like, mm, not going to do it. My mom said to be careful, too. She's like, it'll turn your hair orange. Oh. And, yeah, she said the same thing. She's like, yeah, it's a good thing you didn't do that. But um, she was talking about how her son has, like, blondish hair. And he has put some lightener in, and it makes his hair real blonde. So if Kyle did that, his oh. hair would probably be super blonde. And yeah. maybe even if you did, your hair would be more blonde. And then I would just really <laughs> show that I'm balding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just losing it all. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about hair, and I, um, I guess I've gotten used to having a normal haircut, but oh, hi, I'm Dad. certainly uh, also used to having a buzzed head. So worst case scenario, it's not that far away, and I'll be okay. I'll manage. Might be even more comfortable, you know. Oh yeah, that was like last week that we talked about it on the podcast when I cut your hair and the baby bangs. Oh yeah, you got me. But it's okay. It's growing out a little bit, and it looks better. Yeah, it's fine. every time when it grows out a little bit, it starts it to look even. more even. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's also the lovely thing about being locked down is that no one has to see it unless you're at the grocery store and you see me with a mask and a uh, fresh home haircut. 
which doesn't matter, then it's no big deal. It's good. And I like having you cut my hair than going to uh, a barber or a salon. And I'm not saying anything bad about uh, getting your hair cut at a barber or a salon because obviously those people are trained and can do a great job. It's just one less payment to make, one less trip to make, one less potentially awkward conversation to have. Yeah, it's good. The only thing awkward about you cutting my hair is when I have to when say that it's not chop. great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but I'm so weird. That's the nice thing uh, is like you can tell me these things and I don't take it personally. I mean, just a little, but it's not like it's a grudge that I'm like, oh, I'm so angry. Like, I'll be like, oh. You just beat yourself exactly. up. Exactly. That's it. Which yeah. Which isn't good either. But um, you can always tell me when there are problems with your hair. And that's the and nice thing is, yeah, exactly. We just fix it and then move on. Just got to shape it up a little bit dust ourselves off and try again so yeah wearing the new hair loving the new do <laughs> it's so hot here it i'm really actually is. not sweating right now somehow and now that i said that probably gonna start sweating but for a change of pace we actually took a small break before we started recording so yeah. i set everything up kirsten helped but yeah set everything up made sure it was good and then sat in front of the fan for a little bit i was feeling pretty good like i here. turned off the fan when we were watching the tv there and i like cooled down significantly i was like cold i was like i'm ready to do this and then even just sitting in this room i was like getting warm and then yeah and then sat out there again for mm -hmm. a couple minutes had a little smoochy cuddle sesh with the pan the pup yeah that was nice yeah, no ice pack. Brave move right now. But with all that, I'll probably start sweating soon. But that's okay. So, yeah, it's been like 100 degrees or more lately. Yeah, that's... And, oh, gosh. It's pretty rough. I forgot, like, how hot summer is. And yeah. one of the things that I am so thankful for this summer is that, you know, last... Again, I think we talked about this. The first, first year we lived here, it was very hot mm -hmm. and the summertime we we just we i don't know we closed the blinds we just let it we had fans yeah. and then i think the next summer how last long have summer. we been here is this yeah last summer yeah. um it was like okay we're gonna put the fan out the window we're gonna open the windows at night and keep the blinds open so we get yeah. the air circulating then this year we have a little mini air conditioner i know i've talked about it already but like if you can invest in one and you don't have air conditioning and it's hard to sleep because it's so hot, I highly recommend something. Put Definitely. something in your room. And like we've woken up a couple of nights recently cold. <laughs> yeah, which like is a blessing. Yeah, I'll I'm take cold over hot. Yeah. Uh, and Kirsten made it work, which is awesome. But it, like the window behind us, every window in this house is like that where it's not a traditional. I know there's a name for it, but the kind that just slides up and down old school and it's not like a swing open yeah. saloon door style it's a crank and it opens on one side and there's a name for that too and i don't know what it is but mm -mm. Um, it was explained to me by my father shouts out to my dad that the purpose of those windows having windows like that is a you don't see something like another uh border or like a wooden border in it. So there's more window space, but also you can crank those to a specific angle to catch the wind the most, to like get the most breeze into your house. So anyway. That's why they're like that? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what oh. my dad said, which makes sense. But um, it's not conducive to really setting up a traditional portable air conditioner because those favor being in a traditional right. slide up and down window because they close on it but we figured it that's out that's what i'm saying i mean you made you figured it out and made it work yeah i mean i knew like i didn't realize that it was gonna have to i mean this is dumb probably should have just figured obviously an air conditioner is not just gonna pump air like hot air out <laughs> like you Cold need air. to have a window a window uh, window a window <laughs> sorry I'm like thinking too many things at once and it's like making my mind race. But um, yeah, no, like 
Uh, we took the little thing, the panel that like the little hose hooks up to, to the little air machine. And I just used Kyle's duct tape, which is just, uh, we use it for everything. And uh, like took, since the window opens like this way, um, I took the, like the part that the hose attaches to, which is like a long rectangle thing and taped it just into the corner of the window where it's open the most. Um, and yeah, the tapes come down a couple of times. It's probably gonna be a pain in the ass to get the, uh, sticky stuff off the, yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it works. And even the window can stay open. Like it, it really doesn't need to to be more isolated like where the air is coming out of because it's just it works still works small window yeah yeah. it's not probably not as effective but (laughs) we're cold yeah that's fine it seems to work great and i love it so much it is my second husband oh yeah that reminds me when we were camping what did i say was it chex mix was my my boyfriend trail mix was your boyfriend and you would get so mad i mean not actually mad but yeah but you get so annoyed i mean not actually annoyed when do i ever get annoyed (laughs) or mad i have so much fun telling people about it was like a couple weeks now at this point when you were getting annoyed i can't remember what i was doing probably just poking you or something yeah something annoying probably i've told everyone i I know i talked to Chantel about it i've talked to my boss about it talked to courtney about it anyone that will listen i think like talk to some of my coworkers coworkers their boss and just like how it's so funny how you don't get annoyed and how i've been like trying to get to that point where it, you just like have to snap you know i'm about to break <laughs> yeah that's hilarious babe sorry it's not i that love that <laughs> you torture me yeah but well. you just swallow it it just goes deep down inside and you just a good line from my favorite movie hot rod cooler heads will prevail oh i you know what this is super random sorry i was like kind of listening kind of not but um the neighbor you know how they have the people that Mm -hmm. come over all the time with the van van, i feel like i saw like a meme or something like if you could pick one car like and it was different cars from different movies um like the the one from uh whatever the taking back Back to the future. Future, yeah. There we go. And then like Taking other ones. The back to the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where I was going. But they they made the van look like the A team van. See, I was like, wow, uh, that looks like that shitty van oh, from the that's people. Funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, sorry for swearing. Sorry. That's no, okay. Um, um w- was there? A r- I think there was a remake A team movie with Bragley Goobers. Is that was right? That, did that happen? I feel like I saw this, but I could also be... No, that sounds right. Wrong. The A-Team was a show. Yeah, and it had Mr. T Yeah. amongst other jabronis. Mr. T, Dirk, Benedict, George, Peppard. Exactly. Dwight Schultz. Oh, yeah. Mr. T was the Mr. Character. T obviously was carrying that cast. So A team yeah. movie. Oh, a 2010 film. Nice. Um, wow, 10 years ago. That's crazy. Bragley it, Goobers. Bragley Goober. Nice. Liam Neeson. Wow, Liam Neeson. Uh, Jessica Biel. Uh, Jay Beals. Oh, look, they had some people. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry. I was going to say they had people from uh, the uh, the original, but I think maybe they did. But I know like if you look up a cast of a movie or a show if there's like knockoffs or spinoffs it'll just show all of the people that have ever been oh yeah. uh, but patrick wilson that maybe. guy sounds familiar um maybe they were in the background quentin jackson quentin jackson bradley cooper i still think it's hilarious how like one of the first movies that he made that like got attention was midnight meat train <laughs> i don't know i remember I watching that one years ago and like thinking like that the guy was okay looking i was like oh and then he just rode a train at midnight and there was a man that chopped people up midnight meat train Hmm. meat train yeah well (laughs) he's had quite the successful career a movie that i saw in theaters that i didn't really know how to interpret at the time or how to respect was silver linings playbook never seen it yeah i would like to see it again was he in that movie was he like a main character yeah Oh. It's him and 
Oh, what's her name? Don't say it. Was it? What is it? Nope. Don't say it. Hunger Games girl, right? Jennifer Lawrence. Yep, there you go. Okay. Ugh. Jennifer Lawrence. Ugh, what do you mean? Jennifer Lawrence. Don't ugh, Jennifer Lawrence. Did you ever watch the movie Mother? Mm, Don't think so. It was a scary movie, right? Well, kind of. So definitely not. Meh. Yeah. But anyway. Don't ugh, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, don't do that. Ugh. That'd be like me ugh,ing Bragley Goopers. Ugh. I I mean. That's fine. You can ugh. No, it's not warranted. Ugh. It's an attractive person. So, that movie. I mean, I don't think she's ugly, but are you attracted to Jennifer Lawrence? I'm saying she's an attractive person. I'm not <laughs> saying that. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't think. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, baby. <laughs> that movie got a lot of praise, and at the time, I didn't really understand. And it's a lot about like mental health. Issues. What is it? What is the point of the movie? Like, I what believe is the it's plot. I believe it's they both have schizophrenia, if I remember correctly. Oh, that sounds interesting. That's like right up my alley. The schizophrenic yeah. and the scary. Is it a horror movie? Mm, kind of. <laughs> it's like <laughs> schizophrenia meets Step Up with Channing Tatum. Oh wow! Do they dance? Yes, they do. A really? Lot of dancing? Yes. Ballet? I think so. Um, it kind of reminds me of that Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper movie where uh, she, where he kills himself. So it's kind of like a horror movie okay, too, right? Okay, so he was just bringing it back. He's like, "Hey, this worked really well before." Oh, does he kill himself in this movie? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm about to r- look up the plot, and we'll f- I'll know exactly what happens. But I feel like now that I've been learning and working in mental health, it would be a really good movie to watch. Yeah, probably has some. Relative stuff in it. I mean, those are great actors, and if they're great actors and the movie got as much praise as it did, then they probably did their work researching what the behavior is like and what the experience is like. So be good to watch. I feel like I've read this plot before. <laughs> like, it just sounds familiar. I'd, I've never watched this movie before. Well, we could. Speaking of movies. The Andy Samberg one. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. There's yeah, a lot of, like, I was just cruising through Netflix this morning while you were doing groups, and I saw a lot of different shows that I would watch, yeah. uh, movies, and one of them being tonight I will be watching is Poltergeist. Oh. I haven't seen that one in a very, very long time, and I'm so excited for that. Yeah, you were saying that there were a lot of shows <laughs> that we could watch, yeah. but I, I mean, I didn't really get the list from you which is fine but you had alone on earlier yeah that, that, was that pretty one's pretty interesting. interesting i mean it is interesting i don't feel like it's one that i'd be missing out if i didn't watch it you know but mm-hmm. it's a neat show people in the arctic mm-hmm. it's just like a survival test but they're alone and they get to bring 10 things and try to survive the longest without tapping out i guess so I could do that. No. Well, okay. We got to talk <laughs> about the moment the lady cuts her hand, though. Because yeah. I do that all the time. Not like I don't cut my hand that bad, but like really? Like she was cutting, she was doing, trying to make like a mouse trap or something, and it was like a V in the stick, and it was just like a long, so I guess like a Y. And she was like chiseling into the center of it, and it just slips, and she yeah. just cutting towards her hand and like, like cutting like up and down towards her hand yeah and and i was i literally said wow she's cutting towards her hand and then a second later she cut her hand <laughs> yeah i know it was, <laughs> it was great I was but like, i do wow, that. that's a really dumb move i yeah. do that and i have cut my hand but like little tiny cuts not like the one and she was yeah. like ah, and then she goes <laughs> i was being so careful yeah. <laughs> like, no you weren't you were ch- i know but that's what i say too it's a so large careful. knife it's going knife. toward your hand i know but. sorry i was doing the hand things but this is like l- the video that you, it's like laggy by like a second it's not a second it's laggy by like 0.2 seconds and you got to give it some credit that's not laggy but it's also sending the signal into the mind i know that's fine it's cool and you well, like that one it. better than the one that i'm oh buying. my god babe but it is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. It's fine. They look the same. I don't know what the difference is. I know that you have the differences, yeah. but... Th- yeah, it just has a lot more 
options for me to like make sure that it looks good even before it leaves the camera. So mm. that's great. But even so, the other one works wonderfully and I have another camera. So we literally have like 90% of the stuff we would need to start up another. What are you doing? Because you turned it off. I just wanted it to rotate and close. How do I do that? Okay, can you make it change colors? I want it to rotate. I am talking. Um, th I liked how... Uh, yeah, they're perfect. Okay, very good. Talking. Talking. <laughs> I forgot what we were just talking about because I was so distracted by trying to figure out the light. I don't know why we're doing this. There's already another light over here that's set to one color. Where? Over there. Oh. Yeah. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Have it your way. Just kidding. It's fine. Oh, wow. I like that. I didn't realize it would, it would go that fast. I love it. Sorry. Yeah, it's really cool. Um... So we've been kind of into the fancy Starbucks drinks lately. At least I have. I've been on Pinterest again. It's been a while, obviously, since we got married. Didn't have a need for looking for fun wedding ideas. And now I just like save recipes and like make up things that I'll never actually do just because it looks fun. Um, but yeah, so there are like Starbucks drinks that come up and like they say like do this and this. Ask for this to get this type of drink. And um it was the 4th of July and I was like, I saw this pink drink. I want to try it. And it tasted kind of like cough syrup for you. I liked it, but then I've been seeing different oh, pink. Like, uh, sorry. It was like the Hull's cough drops, not cough syrup. That would be really gross. Oh, sorry. Cough drops. That's what I meant to say. Those but cough drops aren't bad. It just reminded me of them. But the pink drink, I expected it to have more of like a, uh, like a, creamy taste you know what i mean so but it was more like juice juice yeah a lemon oh yeah juice but then i found um a pinterest thing that was like there was one that was like half green half pink looking and we went to the starbucks that was in the king supers and i was like can i have this and the lady was like what i don't know what? What? <laughs> <laughs> it blew her mind. Yeah. So I I've don't know. Never even what? heard of such a. <laughs> um, but you got a really good drink. There is some chocolate, almond, chocolate milk, coffee, cold brew, cream stuff, and yeah, yeah and that's Close basically enough. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I found one on Pinterest where there it actually was like ask for this, and then. It was actually really funny because I went to the Starbucks today that was off Ken Pratt and there's one in the grocery store over there, but I just did the oh, drive yeah. through and it was right. such a long line. And then some mm. guy was like, Hey, how can we help you? And I was like, um, so I didn't see the thing on the menu and I was just like, can I get the, it's, it was like the cold brew with the, the cocoa or cacao and there's chocolate almond milk and and then some lady's like oh blah 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 and i was like yeah that's it and then i was like okay and also sorry if you don't understand this i saw it on pinterest and then i like laughed because it's silly and then i explained like the drink said like i would like the pink drink with the sweet cream with pumps of vanilla or something like that the sweet cold cream whatever i don't know what it was but anyway she was like oh yeah we can do that and then it was right it was very good and it i think that like having it was clearly whipped cream, you know, on top. It didn't seem like it was sweet. I don't know, whatever it was, but I guess it was very that good. Is sweet cream. Yeah, that's what I wanted, though, and that's exactly what I imagine. Like the pink drink was supposed to taste like the first time mm -hmm. around, but you yeah, just have so to ask good, too. for it that way. Yeah, that is. That version was way better, in my opinion. Yeah. Didn't remind me of a cough right. drop anymore. Just like a delicious drink. So that's good. But yeah, they're but the yeah. fancy drinks, and I I know that like Ziggy's and Ozo can probably do similar things but can they i don't know I, all you see are these starbucks like m do your own drinks and whatever and yeah. yeah i mean ziggy's has its own place because the dinosaur eggs and right it does taste and we got like that a high this weekend, quality it, yeah, friday it tastes like a really quality drink coffee drink mm -hmm. 
But but see, that's the thing is from Starbucks, I do the weird things. Mm, I don't get yeah. their coffee is not great. I mean, I don't mind. It's simple, but also I'm like not not like coffee snap. a connoisseur yeah, of coffee. I don't really know. So and that's fine as long as I don't. If, as long as I don't really care, then I don't have to spend more money on coffee. But we really haven't even been drinking coffee. No, lately. we haven't, which is great. But these drinks are nice, and yeah. I don't picture it as like coffee. It's like a just a fun a drink. Treat. Yeah, I was yeah. looking at the frappuccinos today. Well, the I was pink like, drink oh. isn't coffee. No, but yours what is. I've been getting, yeah. But it's a good coffee drink. Yeah. And today it was much needed because you were tired and. I would crash today. Uh oh, yawns. Yeah, Did you I worked just yawn? this mo- No, you just yawned. No, I didn't. I sucked it back in. Oh, well, that's essentially a yawn. But <laughs> yeah, I uh, worked this morning and then afterward I was doing my paperwork and like nodding off. And then I just couldn't, ho- I couldn't hold on anymore. I got everything done for work and just I'd never nap, but I needed to today. So. And I let you nap. Yeah, well, you encouraged me to nap. Yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll rub your back a little, and then I'll put you to sleep. And then I was about to stop, and you're like, well, now I'm not comfortable <laughs> anymore. Uh, but yeah, and you, I yeah. showered and everything. You I was trying to. I was about like to. Two seconds, and then oh, you're whatever, like, whatever. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna fall asleep now. I'm angry. But then you did fall asleep for yeah. like a little bit there. I'd say like 20 minutes. Yeah. And I was about to sneak out and go get the coffee, but you were like, I see you. Yeah, I was sleeping on my arms too, so they were they were asleep when I woke up. That's always all uncomfortable. Numb. Yeah, that's kind of. I uh, like sleep face down like this. <laughs> Do yeah. you ever wake up with your arms over your head? Does that ever happen? When I'm laying on my back, sometimes I'll go to sleep with my arms over my head. I don't notice that so much. Just you snoring and then I'll like push you until you wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should lose some weight. So I stop snoring. That's not why. No, you've always snored. Well, um, what's but no, I, I think it's so weird when weight? I like wake up in the night, my arms are over my head and I'm just like, how is this comfortable? But you can breathe better. Your lungs, <laughs> your lungs expand. Your lungs expand. Yeah. Your butt expands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> Sorry, it was funny. Um, what else have we done? Uh, we just worked this week. We worked and Fourth of July last weekend. That was oh, fun. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, Thank long you, weekend. Jake and that was so good. For having us. Shout out to Jake. Here's your second shout out because yeah. I know we did it before. That's right. Number and two. And thanks for buying for a T-shirt you. too. He was so pumped about that, and all the T-shirt buyers. Yeah, just like, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to everyone who that bought a story really to fun. record t-shirt. That was great. But yeah, going down there last last weekend was a lot of fun. Thank you guys. It was like, we just haven't got to see much of friends Anyone? in yeah. a few months. And then to be able to, and that trip wasn't that long. I mean, it was nope. an hour. And thank fine. you for driving. But um, yeah, being there was nice. They have a beautiful home and playing, like just playing games out in the yard and uh, bocce ball and cornhole and stuff it was a really good time yeah so it was nice seeing people that we haven't seen in a while too. yeah it's like hey good people mike and liz greg and sierra greg and sierra yeah it was good even the people that we hadn't met before were all super nice very too. nice yeah so yeah. yeah thank you guys that was a lot of fun and then we i mean we came back earlier because our Pim. pup was alone oh yeah i all day put in the just furbo. howling yeah and she normally doesn't really cry. I mean, it's been a while since I I think she really just goes off like that. But I guess it's hard to tell because we don't always plug in the furbo. But the fireworks, the and fireworks yeah. for sure that day were going ham. And she even was doing that while we were back, kind of crying a little bit, howling. And she was alone. Yeah. Cause Ky- I mean, Kyle, Kyle works gone. on the weekends Nick's too. Gone. So she was, yeah. Poor little baby. Little so baby. Scared of so we fireworks. came home, but we had a lot of fun. And I mean, I'm sure we could have stayed like if if we didn't have the furbo plugged in (laughs) well if we just didn't have the pup to worry about then i'm sure we would have just stayed there because yeah that's true that would have been fun hanging out but anyway we can get back over there sometime do it again but yeah yeah, that was a good that was a good fourth um we just heard other people's fireworks going off and that was pretty much how we celebrated that I was on call for work. 
Yeah. Class, my last class of my college career started this last week. So I have like six more weeks and then I'll be done, graduated. That's exciting for me. So I just have like a few more few more assignments to get through and weekly homework and then I'll be all done with college. That's crazy. Graduate school will be over. And We're going to have feel a like big party for you. We should start planning that now. Well, it, it's supposed to be the same day as our one year wedding anniversary. So we should definitely plan something. Mm -hmm. And by we. My mom will plan it all. Perfect. Because we'll put emphasis on the graduation and that will take out my requirement to be involved in the planning. <laughs> but that'll be good. Ah, <sighs> yes. Can take some time off work, maybe. That'd be good. We'll see. But anyway, I'm excited to be done with school soon. Um, not have homework and assignments to even think about anymore. That'll be so nice. Then we can yeah. like strictly focus on the things that are we want to do you want to do yeah yeah and i think like even just factoring that in i reached out um to that supervisor to say that i'm just gonna like talk to work about taking one less on call day and oh, okay on and maybe i like so that yeah. i like that a lot i feel like that would yeah. be good so if i just did like a tuesday or wednesday at 5 p.m or something like that yeah. so I, yeah, I I'm love gonna it. do that. Um, I love it. I remember you had to really kind of think about that and my suggestion, and I'm glad that you're kind of still considering that. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think what the reality is, is if things pick up, then the way I should look at it is on that day, say it's Wednesday, at that day I know that I could do a project, a story to record project and earlier still, in the day, yep. like 10 o'clock or noon. Yeah. And then come back and do groups. And then I just know that my Wednesdays will end earlier. So if I look at it that way, then it makes a lot more sense. And I, l I mean, I love doing groups, especially the therapy groups. Just because it's, I don't know, it's uh, familiar faces. And yeah. Yeah. It's nice to check in with people. So yeah. um, I like it. Yeah. And I mean, really nice. Is it going crazy? No, it's fine. Perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know I've got like a skateboard ramp on the top of my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that's from. Somebody dropped me and never told me, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I think that would be a productive way to go with this. And I like that in doing therapy, I kind of improve interviewing skills mm -hmm. so to speak yeah. so then it it does help it does help in the other business setting so yeah which was very cool the other day yeah it's really nice that uh everything's so relative like everything that we do really has a purpose like yeah. even what you do as far as managing large customers you used that energy on this project to make Becky feel super comfortable and you ask great questions and yeah, no, I, th I mean, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't thank you enough for your help with that project and everything else, but I it's nice to like think about. Yeah. I mean, it was really fun. Yeah. And that's the thing was like, even some of the sadder stories, like, it's Let's give a little background, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you wanna? No, it's all you. Go ahead and okay, share. I'm sorry. Your baby. No, our baby. <laughs> Ew. Uh. So. <laughs> Ew. Uh. Yeah. So anyway. Um. Story to record. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I've also it's not talked off. about it. I've also not talked about it oh, that, was that much. That oh. was an airplane. That wasn't like a. That was an airplane taking off. I don't think anyone would think it was anything okay, else. Okay, sorry. So Just clarifying. Anyway, um, I've talked about it a lot, but also haven't talked about it that much because I feel like, well, it, it bores Kirsten, so then it probably bores other people. 
and I don't want to be doing this just to be boring, but I also want to be realistic and talk about what's going on in my life because this is really just a video diary of our experiences. That's not boring. It was really fun now that I've done it. So Now that you've done it. So now we can talk about it. So That's fine. Yeah. Story to record the business that I started during quarantine to record life stories of older adults is starting to uh, grow. And that's great. And it's it's been only a few months since registering the LLC. But since then, a lot of things have happened. And uh, COVID's going on. But I still want this. I still want the name to be out there. I still want people to know that this is a service that we offer. And so I've been promoting it, advertising, but also realistic about what's happening and and not being pushy just getting the name out there so i uh spoke with i I'm probably went into this but quickly uh there's an assisted living facility in town that has us on board to start doing projects uh when COVID eases up and in this last week they told us that they were cleared to do outdoor visits. So if we wanted to start doing these recordings outdoors, we have that go ahead. So we may do that. Um, I'm not sure yet just because I'm not entirely sure of my skills outdoors as I know I can do indoors. So anyway, that's exciting, but that's kind of where the wheels started turning and then I was like, I need to get some projects done so I can show people this is exactly what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a large network of like potential clients out here, except for the people that I know through my other job. And I don't want to cross that boundary. Um, so I haven't told anyone in my other job that that's what I'm doing. Um, or like none of the clients or any of those older adults directly never said anything. So I had to get a little creative, ran a raffle and got a few names for people that we would do these projects for and um, doing these projects for free. So I then get the content to market, but also to show other people this is what I do and show value. So we did... Um, we got the first raffle winner. She was so excited to do it, but we found out that uh, her husband didn't want her to record in their home. So uh, I was so excited to do it, but at the same time, I didn't know what to do. Kirsten even suggested that we have them here or have her here, but I don't want to set a precedent that like our house is available to use as a set for strangers, essentially. Yeah. And, and not that... Not that it's not going the opposite way. Like, of course, I expect, to an extent in this agreement, I expect them to be open to us coming to their house. But I don't want to make our house a business front. So I called the local senior center, and uh, they're not having any activities in the senior center. But they ultimately told me that I'm free to market there. But... um, I couldn't do projects there because my price is too expensive for the normal. Is that what they said? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, for like the standard projects or activities or Hmm. whatever things that they have available. So, and that's fine. I get it. So at least I can market there, which is cool, but I wasn't able to use their space. And then the place where I do therapy, my supervisor suggested that I reach out and ask to use that space from uh, higher up and they essentially they were like offered me to rent the the space and i think that was more like a ongoing rental yeah. agreement and i said i really don't want to make this a normal thing i want to do it in clients homes it's going to be a better product overall if i can just do it in their home so yeah. i'm just looking for a place for one day and um, that pulled through. That was like the day of the day Thursday. of yeah. yeah, the day of uh, I got a second response that was like, by the way, I know it's super short notice and I'm really sorry, but I got approval that you can use the space today uh, if it works out. 
And I said, okay. And this was like 11 a.m. when I saw that email. Yep. So I called the client. She was still on board for 5 o'clock. And I told Kirsten, and Kirsten was on board, which means everything to me. It's so awesome. And we, uh, I mean, I just charged all of my batteries <laughs> <laughs> that day, ran around, packed stuff. Frantic. Loaded frantically loaded it into this gear cart that's behind me yeah. and we took it over i was also frustrated and upset because we were i wanted to be there like an hour like almost two hours before the client was supposed to be there to start setting things up just so it would all be ready but we couldn't get there we were both busy with work and we weren't able to get there until like 40 minutes before uh, the client was supposed to arrive yeah. and literally w as we unlocked the door yeah, she pulled, pulled up. up so she was there the whole time we were yeah. setting up yeah. which I was just sweat I was drenched Ooh, yeah I was pretty gross my mask my face yeah. was like sweat all sweat what are you doing but yes yeah, so we were pretty gross nice and sweaty I've got like the rolls and like the when you're like eh, and then it just like lines the sweat well you took some pictures of me while i was oh, like, yeah, your setting back stuff was up and you could see the yeah you could see the drenched I had sweat, spots on the back like your head was sweating my my bank like my it was just like yeah, i was very stressed because i was already stressed because i wanted to be there early to set stuff up before she got there and then i thought oh i'm gonna have even less time to set stuff up before she gets here but she and was she so chill showed up yeah, she was crocheting. She's my grandma. She was crocheting She's in the chair. She's my second grandma now. Hanging out uh, while we were setting up, asking questions, yeah. starting conversations. And I'm like stressing out running. <laughs> I have a checklist and I didn't even follow the checklist, which is so, I don't yeah. know why. I mean, it worked out, but like yeah. I should have taken a picture of her when it was done. You were very frantic that day though. Yeah. It was, but it, to be fair, it was very last minute. Like, yeah. you know, your next client, we have a set date. We know where we're doing it. Like yeah. we know what we have to bring and like, when you'll be in the air happen. conditioning beforehand. We've got the time to do it. So like it was definitely very last minute, but we made it work. And I think that's some like, I don't know. I guess I can't say it's about everyone, but I imagine that most people will be chill. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they're not going to be like, oh, yeah, you need to get out of here by this time. And yeah, do this, no. this. But, yeah, she was so nice, too. And I said, um, I said to you, like, this is the first time that we've ever done it. But it's also the most difficult. Like, it's going to be the hardest one because it's not a normal situation right. where we find out a few hours before that we're going to do a project i would never do that again but it's only because we didn't have the client's house to use i had to rely on a separate space and we had that space for one day so we had to make it happen that day but it would never be that rushed like for this project that's coming up on the 27th i already know we'll do our podcast on the 25th i'll charge everything is it 27th a saturday it's a monday oh, okay uh, I'll charge everything. I'll have everything loaded up and then we just go. And yeah, I think next time I'll spend more time having you actually watch what I'm doing. Y yeah, for sure. Because I, we could even do like another mock setup here because I would like to know and I will learn. Like I was yeah. more interested as you were doing it to learn than I think I've ever been just because I can see how you're rushing around. And I, if I can learn how to do things, we'll cut the time in half Yeah, and it'll just be way more smooth and right. it'll look more professional. I'm sure. So, yeah. yeah. So, and I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of moving pieces and parts, but it's not all that difficult. Like I learned how to do it. So obviously you could learn how to do it. I know it. you learn so fast. So I'm so dumb. No, you just have to, you just have to love it. And I think after that project, you, w I mean, after that project, I think is when you were really real. I mean, you've always been on board. You've always supported me, which is awesome. But I think us doing the project. Right. Made you feel a little more. I want to revamp your little note cards though. And like add more things in there. That's what I need. Like, th I mean, y the support that you give me and what, you did contributing on Thursday is so incredible 
There but were yeah, times. I mean, I also need you to criticize things and come up with new ideas. Like yeah. that all helps. So there were definitely times where like some of the things were so interesting and I feel like we need to work. I need to work on that, like in a, a mental way and like come up with ways to like, I guess some of the questions and then the answers, like the responses were very heavy, especially with the no cards. And then like when I started just kind of free ball on it, you mm-hmm. know, like there were the ones that I was going through and then there would be like a really heavy response. And then the, the next question's like, what was your favorite toy or you know what i mean i'm just like oh like i i guess i need to be better at improvising but there were like only like one or two times i think when i just didn't have another question Mm -hmm. and i think about it in my mind as they're answering and then i look at you like "Eh." yeah that should be a signal that if i look at you then you (laughs) but there was even a time where you looked up at me and i had a question loaded and then i just blanked and that's okay too. We yeah. can take some time to think of a good question to ask because it helps them. Right. And that's like, I had that because I remember her saying something about the importance of listening to gospel music right. earlier on. And I was Faith, like, yeah. I had that question. And then yeah. I was like, oh, where did it go? But right. I found it. And I think, like you s- I mean, it's going to be way more impactful if we can improvise with good questions or like what I'm really trying to do is get some information out of them from the consultation call where I can create questions about pre write specific questions for them, which I have better stuff for Pete, just so you know, like these are the things that I can talk to you about. So I'll go through those with you too. But yeah, I think um, just like if we can continue that story like Becky talked about our great grandparents a lot. And then I was like, your great grandparents appear to I be know. really important to you. What do you want future generations to know specifically about them? So if we can just like hone in on key words yeah. and then make them expand on that, then we won't have to use the note cards yeah. much or at all. Those are really just more like a fill in thing yeah. than the basis of how we do it. So, and it's a feel thing too, because we just did it once. Right. But yeah, you got to judge how someone's reacting and kind of yeah. figure out the next thing to Where say. To go. And which is why I'm like, I'm so thankful for, I mean, I could, I could be sour about spending a lot of money on going to grad school, but honestly, everything that I've learned in regards to social work Has is completely, yeah. 100% completely business related. In the people Everything. you know, everything. I feel like that's just life, though. Like the people you know and the connections you make can help either, you know, make oh, a break, yeah. really. You can figure out who to talk to and get things done. And I I love that, you know, the sample people really, I mean, they really like you. And that's like, even like if, if your business, I'm not going to say if it doesn't take off, but like when it takes off, like even if there is downtime or it's like a slow season or something, and like you can always fall back on this job or even find another yeah. job or do something. And I, I've learned a lot too, even through your school stuff. Like it's, it, I'm just glad it, it all too. worked out. I think it's, uh, yeah, I feel f- so fortunate to have those connections. Like you said, I mean, I, I started at this agency as an intern and I just got lucky enough to make a connection with the COO of the company and connections with other like the supervisors are the ones who I have direct connections with because as an intern because I mean that you have to have a supervisor so if those relationships turn into positive relationships then once you become an employee you're not just an employee because you've been directly contacting the higher ups and the supervisors to talk about your projects and your work every week so they know you so i was interviewed by alexa when i was just uh, when she was a supervisor but she was in the process of being promoted to coo and so it's like what a cool person to know right off the bat so i always kept that connection like she was heavily and she's heavily involved in every project that the company does so and I I just can't I can't be thankful enough really for everything that company has done for me because honestly 
if they didn't give me the ability to start doing projects at the the assisted living facility and they didn't give me the space to use for our project on Thursday, I would have like nothing to right. show for the work that I've done so far. Or like, I guess not nothing to show for it, but it reinforces that I'm doing something good. Yeah. Because they're so supportive of the mission so yeah and it's like a social it is a social work based mission yep. but it's also a business so i know i've talked about it before and shout out to jake for the third time because he brought up again when we were at the party the podcast episode where i was talking about something jude started barking then i got distracted and jude couldn't remember barking. there was a dog in the road oh okay oh you're right so i was just talking about uh, that master class, Chris Voss. I know I've talked about it a lot, but if you haven't listened to this show before, or you haven't listened to that episode, check this out. So my very, very, very good longtime family friend, Garrett, uh, gave me the bonus pass to master class. I don't know if they're doing it now, but at the time, if you got a master class membership, you could gift one for free. And I was fortunate enough to be on Garrett's gift list. He said, I know that you'll use it, and I did. So there's a guy on there, Chris Voss. He was an FBI um, hostage negotiator and essentially just compares negotiation tactics to business tactics and business negotiation. And so much of that correlates with what you learn in social work or at least therapy, which is empathy, uh, active listening, and mirroring. Like these are all yep. therapy techniques, but they're also business and negotiation techniques. If you're in a good mood and I mirror that good mood, you're going to like me more. Or if you say something and I am genuinely interested in what you're saying, you're going to like me more and you're going to want to work with me more. So being a positive person can go a long way. And another thing that I think he drives home that I really like is that having a negative attitude is never productive. There's no situation where your anger is going to help. So yeah, I do that a lot. Backtrack. Like I'll get upset about things sometimes and I'm like, ah, and then I'll say too much to someone and I'm like, Oh, like that just sounds stupid. Sorry. Yeah. That was dumb. Well, and like a negotiation, even when you're upset and having an argument, like it's never going to end until you can find a way to meet in the middle. And you can't meet in the middle unless you hear somebody out and you seem at least seem interested in what they're saying. So, yeah. Anyway, that applies to business and it applies to uh, active listening and empathic attunement. So, it's just kind of nice that it's something that I can, it's a skill, but also just a way of communicating that I can do with business owners, but I can also use those skills in a session, in an, like in a recording to make the client feel more comfortable, to make them feel uh, safe enough to talk about something more. That's great. Sorry, I know this is completely off topic, but can you read my cursive? What does it say? I'm not going to read that, but <laughs> I can. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I, that says, read it that says podcast on purpose. I made it a B. Yeah. Podcast. Sorry. I've been having really a lot of fun doodling here while we're talking about stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not the most fun, but also no, another, um, another thing which is kind of crazy too. So the day before we did this project, I got the equipment to transfer VHS tapes Aww. to digital, to, uh, to like a computer Ooh, yeah. web based format. And I think it'll just be a good additional service to what we already offer. And I wanted to spend Thursday like, thinking up ideas for a promo video for that service and then we're then we found out that we would be doing another project oh yeah so that's right yeah because we talked about that briefly was yeah. that thursday when that we was talked about thursday it? morning yeah i was like this is what i want to do today and then whoop 
So I still want to do that because I still need to promote that. But it's exciting that I have a project right now that's in the works to be, I mean, in editing. Um, but also that there's an opportunity to offer something else that's relative, but also another another potential thing. thing, yeah. Yeah, because not a lot of, I, I know that the Mike's camera in Boulder, I think is what you said, right? Where you did that? And they yeah. like did it, but it took them forever and then they charged yeah. a lot. And I like the idea that we can do that now. And we've got the yeah. DVD, no DVD. Oh my gosh, not DVD, VCR. V VCR, yeah. So um, that's, I just need to, I, I need to do a video because even with the raffle, when I posted about the raffle and I used a picture, nobody responded. And then I reposted the raffle with the video, with the video and people responded. So yeah. I need to do a video. I know that that's going to be probably more work than most projects. Not like a life story recording project. It sounds like fun, though. Like the video, like what we were talking about and your idea for it. It's good. Yeah. I... I, you know, an idea that I had this morning, but I haven't reached out to people about was like, if I could have a ton of people send me just like, if you just leaned your iPhone up against the wall or something, but took a video of you like opening your front door and just setting a VHS down on your doorstep and just have like a bunch of clips of people just setting it down yeah. and then the ending clip is like me coming and picking them up or you coming and like picking up a VHS. And so it just looks like a ton of people are doing it, you know, I don't know. We'll work on that. Yeah. I'll talk to you more about it. You'll get it, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, we talked about that a lot, which is good. Yeah, that's fine. It's a really exciting thing. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything else on this list. That's worth talking about. I'm fine with ending it now. We've, We've done our due diligence for the week. Wow. I feel like we covered a lot of this stuff without yeah. looking at it. For sure. And nice. Oh my gosh, you got, uh, sorry, I haven't eaten yet today outside of like ten chips. I'm excited to eat. I'm so excited. Do you wanna end this? Uh sure. Yeah, okay. that sounds great. Do you have anything else you wanna say? My grandson's birthday is on Friday. Wow. My mom's birthday would be tomorrow, July 12th, if she were still with us. So, shouts out to my mom above any other shout out. And I do respect everyone else I've shouted out, but I have to give my mom that number one shout out. So, shout out to my mom. I love you, mom. Miss you so much. And, uh, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe next week we could have a guest on or something. That'd be good. We'll figure it out. But anyway, thank you guys for sticking with us. I really appreciate it. I mean, we have a very, a very tight following of, uh, close friends really. So I appreciate that you guys tune in. We never... We don't really do anything to try to make this a big podcast. We don't really promote it. Kirsten never remembers to put stuff on <laughs> Instagram. I'm and trying. I don't bother with Instagram at all and whatever. So thank you guys for listening and watching every week. It's really cool that anyone cares um, besides us. So, yeah, I think that'll do it. Next week we have episode 44. We might have somebody on. Who knows? But uh, hopefully you guys tune in. In the meantime, be safe. Have fun. Happy, uh, while well this comes out on Mondays usually. So have a good week. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>